Welcome everybody, it's Debbie O'Neill of Scrap Me Quick Designs and there's something exciting happening in design space that I wanted to let you know about. Cricut has been working with making bigger print and cut sizes and guess what? There's some out there for you to test now. So this video is going to show you what is in there so far. I do want to remind you that what the version that you're looking at right now on this video is a beta version of the desktop. There's only a beta for the desktop right now. So unfortunately you can't do this or try it on the iOS or the Android right now, but in desktop version, you have the option to go into beta mode. And that's what I'm going to show you at the end of the video. I'll show you how you can get into the beta as well. But let me show you what Cricut's done with the bigger print and cut sizes. So the first thing you're going to see here is I have some cute kitty cats here. And this is a, there's a new size for the letter size paper, the eight and a half by 11 paper. There's a size now for the A4 paper, which is 8.3 by 11.7. There's a new size for legal paper, which is eight and a half by 14. That's the size of the paper. Um, and there's also one for tabloid, which is 11 by 17, again, size of the paper. And there is an A3, which is 11.7 by 16.5. Now, those are the sizes of the paper. Your image is going to need to fit within those sizes. And I'm going to show you what Cricut's done so that it makes it super easy for you to adjust your images to fit within the paper size and how do you select your paper size, okay? So let's take a look at that. All right, so I have that same little kitty cat. And what I wanted to show you was originally in print and cut or what's currently in print and cut for all of us is that the maximum size is six and a half by nine, six and a half wide by 9.25 high, right? So that is, I have taken this little kitty cat, I've flattened it, and it is now sized to this measurement. If you'll notice over here in the layers panel, it's flattened. There's the print and cut. And I can send this to my printer and it's going to print it out and Cricut's going to cut it and there's no issues because I, within those boundaries of the six and a half by 9.25. But they've given us a little bit more room with the new um, improvement even at the eight and a half by 11 paper size. But let me show you. So this cat, same cat, I just colored it different so we could see the difference. This one is, I made this one 6.673, which is bigger than the 6.5, and it is 9.553. I just kind of stretched it. Anyway, so this is bigger than what we would normally be able to do, which is this size, okay? All right, but... Let's, let me show you what Cricut's, Cricut's changed. So I've got this kitty cat. I've already flattened it. But if you look over here in the layers panel to the right, you'll notice that there's a little eye mark here. Um, well, next to the eye, there's a little round red. Uh, it's got an exclamation point in it. That means that Cricut's telling us, hey, you need to look at this because there's it's not going to work. So when you click on that, look what comes up. It says your image is too large. Image is too large for an eight and a half by 11 letter size paper. We have detected that the max size for this shape on an eight and a half by 11 is now 6.5 by 9.31. So it grew it just a little bit for us from 9.25 to 9.31. That's not the exciting part, okay? The exciting part is it'll you can do auto resize, so it would take this image and resize it so it would fit on an eight and a half by 11. Okay, so we're gonna do that and we'll do auto resize. So now it's now it's sized it so it should fit on the eight and a half by 11 and it's a little bit bigger. So we'll go to make it and I'll show you guys what that looks like. And then we're gonna go back and try something else. So now you see when you go and you're in the beta mode, remember, you will see that there's a little red mark around here, okay? And that is where your image has to fit within that 
for it to be able to do the new print and cut sizes. Over here in the material size list, you can change that. This is the material sizes. This is your paper that you're going to print on. Okay, you now have the selection to change it into any of these sizes. Okay, so that's something different. Uh, we have more options now. Now, of course, you'd have to have a printer that prints that size and paper that is that size to be able to do it. But um, so I just wanted to show you that there's a new uh, red bounding box, so to speak. Okay, and we still have the registration marks around the outside of the paper. That's the black because your Cricut will need to uh, read those registration marks to do the cutting out around your image. Okay, now I'm going to cancel this. And we're going to go back over here and I want to make this bigger again. Okay, so I just grew it bigger by pulling on it. I'm going to go back over here to where that little exclamation point is. And remember it says, oh, it's too large for an eight and a half by 11. Do you want to resize it? We did that. That's what I just showed you. But there's another selection down here where it says change the paper size. So I'm going to say change the paper size. And what's going to happen is this screen pops up. And depending upon, now I've selected that I'm working with my maker, my Cricut Maker 3. You would pick whichever machine you're, it is that you're working with. Okay, so I'm Maker 3. And then it says print and cut, print and cut page size, 8.5 by 11. And then here you can go in and change what paper size. So let's say I, my printer prints legal. So I'm going to change this to legal. And I'm going to say done. And now it has sized this. Let me see. It's still, it's still too big. Okay. So, but what I wanted to show you was that now when I go back in, it says image too large. It's now too large for eight and a half by 14 legal paper. Because I remember I made this really tall. Um, and we've detected that the max size for this shape is 7.29 by 10.44 so then I could say auto resize it and now it's going to work because we've gotten rid of that little you know warning sign from Cricut but now this image could be printed on an on a legal size piece of paper okay and you could do that for all the other sizes so there's um but let's go let's go hit make it and see what it does Because we still have that other cat on there, right? So here it's got, it's changed the material size for me here. Okay. So that way we know that these are going to fit on eight and a half by 11 paper. If you try to change it, it's not even going to give you the option to put it on the smaller paper, the, the regular eight and a half by 11 letter size, because this image is too big for the letter size. So I think that's really good. It's kind of a safety um, measure. Uh, as far as your uh, paper goes so that then that way you know oh I can't do it I need to I need to change the paper size or whatever so I just wanted to show you guys this I thought this was really cool um, the sizes again that Cricut's changed this is letter A4 legal tabloid and A3 now most of us don't have printers that can print the the tabloid and the A3 size but we certainly have, some of us have printers that can print the other three sizes. So I think that's awesome. Now, I promised you at the beginning of this that I would show you how could you get into beta mode. Because most of you are probably not in beta mode right now. So if you come over here to where the little, the three little hamburger lines in at the top of the, your design space screen, you can scroll down here to settings. And then here you can pick whether you are in the beta version, see where it's green, or you can go into the live version. The live version is the version that everybody has, everybody has access to it, and it is the stable platform that Cricut's got out there for everybody to use. The beta version is where they're testing and playing around and they're giving us some new features to try out while they're still in development and they're still working on it. So. If you're in beta mode, all you have to do, you just switch it from live 
to beta. Okay, so if yours says live, switch it to beta and then you click done and you will be in beta mode. Now what will probably happen is you're going to get prompted to do an update so that you get whatever the latest version of the beta. This one currently that came out today that I'm using is version is it says Cricut Design Space Beta. So you know that you're in the beta mode. So if you've got a glitch or you've got things going on, I'm going to show you something else they've asked us to do. So this is version 7.27.142. Sorry. So this is what came out today. I'm sure as they change things in the beta, you know, you'll get prompted again to do, we do a lot more updates when we're in beta mode because they're constantly in there messing with things, making good changes for us for different things. Okay. Now, if you are using the beta mode and you have any things that's going on, Cricut is asking us to help them by report, reporting to them what is the problem. Okay. So with this particular feature. So here, down here, where the little three little hamburger lines in, and we come down here, we can go to uh, report issue, okay? It says, are you reporting a bug? Let us know what's broken. Uh, are you may have a feature request that you think we should consider? Or do you have general feedback? Give general feedback on this page. If you are using the beta and you're trying out with some of this print and cut uh, new image um, sizes, Definitely report it as a bug and let them know. And when you do that, I'll just click on that. It's going to tell, it says, tell us what's broken. You need to give them your email address. So if they need to contact you, they can. And then you select a category and you tell them what it is. So like, it would be a print and cut issue. You can put a title on here about what it is. Then you can give them a description. If you've taken some screenshots or anything like that, you can go in and attach a file and then you would just hit submit and that goes directly over to the developers at Cricut so they can take a look at it see if they can replicate that issue on their side and if they can then they know what they they can work on right to to improve it so that's how you report something in design space and a lot of people don't know that that's over there but particularly if you're working in beta mode now the other thing i know you're going to ask me is well if i just want to play with print and cut in beta mode but i don't want to mess with everything else in beta mode can i go back and change yes you can it's at the drop at the drop of a hat so to speak all you have to do is go back into that settings and go back to live and then you say done and it puts you back in the other one okay it does ask you to please save all your work before you continue you will see your same projects in the live version that you put in beta but you may not have all the features that you had in beta because it may be new things that are coming out that are not in the live version i hope that makes sense now remember this is only for desktop but Go out there, play around, have some fun. I'm going to be working on some projects over the weekend, and I'll try to be posting those over in my Let's Learn Cricut Design Space Facebook group. If you have any questions about that, please let me know. And I hope you guys are as excited about this new update that's coming soon to everybody. But right now it's in beta mode and you can get out there and play in it and do some bigger print and cut projects. All right. Talk to you guys later. Have a great day. Happy crafting. And y'all have a wonderful, wonderful time playing with this. And let me know. Leave us a comment over in the Let's Learn Cricut Design Space Facebook group where you see this post. Tell me if you played with it. What did you think about it? I really want to know because I want to be able to help provide that feedback to Cricut as well. Thanks so much. Bye.